have to go. Turn on the light outside your door. I thought she was doing all right. She's been hiding her food. Well, can't you have somebody watch her 24 hours a day? It's not possible. Right now, she's so undernourished, the feeding tube is her only alternative. She's been disconnecting all her IVs. A feeding tube? I'll, I'll, I'll Daddy, Daddy, please take me out of here. You're a good girl. Get in bed. Dad, I know they told you that I wasn't eating and that, and that I've been hiding food. And, and maybe, you know, that's true, but you don't know what it's like, Dad. Nobody can eat it. They do it to punish you. I'll be right outside the door. You're gonna be fine. Please stay, Dad. Now, if you can try and relax, this will go a lot easier, okay? You've gained six pounds. Mom, it's Nancy. I want you to come get me right now. I don't belong here anymore. I'm over 18, I can sign myself out anytime I want to. I'm out of here. Where's Nancy Walsh going? She signed herself out. No. no. If it's left up to her, she'll keep right on starving herself till she dies. you it was okay to leave? No. Then why did you? Mom, I've gained six pounds. I'm better. Well, that's good, Nancy. And I can keep it up on my own. But you were only there a few weeks. Trust me. I am 100% better. I'm gonna stay that way. I promise. Nancy. What?
Thanks for coming to get me, Mom. But, Nancy... Mom, I... I'm okay now. I even have plans. I'm gonna try and get my old job back at the deli, and the next semester, I wanna go back to school. Mom, I'm better, I swear. I love you. Arthur Patana speaking. Why the hell did you let Nancy leave the hospital? She signed herself out. It was not my decision. Well, she shouldn't have been allowed out, and I want her back in there, pronto. I mean, you see how she looks? She looks awful. I know you can't trust her. Well, that's something you have to tell her. How? Oh, I mean, she, she doesn't listen to me. There's nothing that Mom? I... Mom? Okay. All right. Who's that? Wrong number. Well, how about something to eat? Yeah, have some coffee, honey. Great. Looks excellent. Here, have me a plate. Okay, there you go. Okay. I gotta get the scoop. Starving? Yeah, yeah, yeah. I mean, that's there you oh, go. Sorry. Who? <laughs> Are you gonna have it? Uh, sure. Is that all you're gonna have? I can always have seconds later. Yeah, right. What is that supposed to mean? It just looks like you're losing weight again. I mean, mom's worried about you. I mean, Dad looks like he's been hit with a brick. What What's... will it take you guys to understand that I am doing what I am supposed to be doing? I'm eating, okay? To so just give me a break. you up to? Nothing. How did these things get under the bed? I, I don't know. Uh, I guess I must have just forgot to bring them downstairs. You also forgot to eat them. What'd you do with this morning's breakfast? Nothing. I ate it. What's that? I had made some macaroni and cheese for Tommy, and, and he, he wanted me to eat it with him, but I had already had this, this huge sandwich at the deli, so I decided I'd bring it up here and eat it later. You're lying. I'm not lying, Mom. I swear. Not everyone in the world has to love football, you know. Smart, Franny, really smart. Football is his life. Hi, Franny. <laughs> Hi, Mrs. Walsh. Nancy's not here. No, I know where she is. What I don't know is, did she eat here? No, she, she never eats here. Oh, for God's sake. You see her every day. You see how she looks. How can you watch her day after day and never see her put a morsel of food in her mouth and not pick up the phone and call me? How can you do that? Are you blind? Are you stupid? That must be it. You must be stupid. Wait a minute. She's a big girl. I'm not her mother. She doesn't want to eat. What am I supposed to do? Tie her down and shove a sandwich down her throat? I'm sorry. It's not my job. I mentioned it to her, Mrs. Walsh. I did, but she told me to butt out that she was OK. I'm sorry. Good 
She's lying. She's just, she's just lying. All that crap about eating at the deli. She doesn't ever. I don't understand. We have a good life. Look around. We love each other. Maybe that's it. You know how nothing is supposed to be perfect? Well, maybe what's going on with Nancy is God's way of telling us to keep that in mind. Boy, he really let it rip, didn't he? God let it rip. Well, how else am I going to explain it to myself, huh? Oh, forget it. It was a joke. I don't think your mother's in the mood for a joke, Tom. She's blaming herself for what's happening to Nancy. I don't think it's her fault. Maybe it's mine. Come on, Dad, don't trash yourself. I'm just trying to figure it out, son. I've always tried to stay out of your business. Maybe that was wrong. Why? So you let us make our own decisions. What's wrong with that? Maybe I should have spent some more time with Nancy. I just wanted you to pick me up and drive me home. I'm tired, please. The deli was packed. Can we just get out of here? All you're doing is go to work, go home, go to work. You need a change of scenery, Nancy. Pat, please take me home. Sit down. We have something here that you really love, all right? I'll be right back. It's our way. Watch your step. Nancy? Lacey Goodwin. Hi, how are you? I haven't seen you since 10th grade, I know. I transferred to uni. Way to go, Nance. How'd you get so thin? Thin? Yeah, you and Kate Moss. Fabulous. Oh, God, that looks so amazing. Not that you have to worry. Well, it was good to see you again. Take care. I had this idea. If you eat just the stuff that you really I like... I don't want it. You need to scarf the stuff down like there's no, no tomorrow. I don't, no. Don't think about it. Just put it in your I, face. I can't. You can. You're just being stubborn. I would if I could, but I can't. It's all about willpower, Nancy. You can turn it either way. I want to eat. I do. I want to eat, but I can't. You control your brain, Nancy. I don't control anything anymore. Especially my brain. Well, you better get a grip on it, because you're driving everybody nuts. You're not doing it on purpose. You promised me you were going to eat real food. All I see here is lettuce. I'm just making a snack, Dad. You're not having a snack. You're lying to me. No, I had some rice before, Dad. I, you I didn't had have some rice. Any rice. No, You're did. lying. You never have anything but nothing. Lettuce is nothing. It's nothing. Look at you. You're wasting away to nothing. What's going on? You're a bag of bones. I'm not lying this time. I swear, I had some rice. Mom, I swear, you gotta believe me.
Honey. You've been here since 10 o'clock this morning. What are you doing? There's tons of fat no. floating on top. No. There's no fat. I drained the meat. Mom, Mom, I like to do it. Please, Mom, please. Carrots. Nancy. Nancy, stop it. Vegetables. Oh, oh, no! <laughs> Why are you doing this? Why? What does it mean? Tell me! sitting in the car. I'm scared to go in. Think that if I go inside, Nancy will be there. Dead. that mom yeah it's not so bad if I'm at school or somewhere but at night every time I come home it's It's tough, isn't it? Tell me you're Yeah. Yeah. Well, I think I better go in. Nancy was sleeping. She might wake up. Mom. What? You sit here a minute. Let me get you some soup to warm you up. No, I can't. Honey, your, your skin and bones, you hurt because you have no cushion. You need food to warm you, to make your body healthy again. Please let me get you some soup. I want it. I do. But I 
can't. Something's wrong with Nancy. What? What's wrong? I heard her voice. You're dreaming. Go back to sleep. Something's wrong. resting comfortably, so uh, you both should probably get some sleep, too. I don't understand what happened to her. Pyelonephritis. It's a, um, a severe kidney infection. Was she complaining of back pain? or? Yeah, she's got a lot of aches and pains. Well, she's getting uh, intravenous antibiotics and dextrose and water. She should begin to feel better in a day or two. Uh, then, uh, you know, she'll be back on a regular diet, but, uh, you know, she won't eat. We're not going to force her. You won't feed her? They have a very good eating disorder unit at Parker Pavilion. She's been there. Sometimes the second time around is more successful. She's over 18. She won't stay there. <laughs> well, maybe she should know she could die. I'm sorry. She's in here. Mm -hmm. You know, maybe when she gets out of here, she wants to eat. She told me that this afternoon. She doesn't know what she wants. Well, what are we supposed to do? Give up on her? I don't know what we do. I'm still trying to figure out what we did. You go. Thanks. Phyllis, uh, I owe you an apology. For what? You tried to tell me what was going on with Nancy, and I, I just wouldn't listen. You heard it when you could. And you've done everything under the sun for Pete's sake. And none of it has made any difference. This morning, I looked out my window at the skin and bones that used to be my daughter. She was shoving little pieces of lettuce into her mouth with her fingers. As the illness progresses, the control changes hands. It controls her. It sounds like you're saying all anyone can do now is sit around and watch her die. No, I'm not. There is something. Good. Just tell me what it is, and I'll do it. I'll do anything. 
I'll save her if it kills me. You can't, Sally. You and Nancy are too entangled. You're too dependent on each other for every breath you take. It can't be you. Why do I have to get a lawyer? So that we can get her back in the hospital. Well, what has one thing got to do with the other? Well, she's over 18. We can't force her. The lawyer has to go to the court and get them to say that she's incompetent. You mean I have to go into a courtroom and say my daughter is crazy? Incompetent. Incompetent is different. I can't do that. You have to. We're too close. I, I, I can't help her. It has to be you. I can't do that. Well, if you can't, she'll die. Hey, Tom. What's up? Renee said you sounded frantic on the phone. Well, life's a little frantic right now, George. Listen, uh... I need you to draw up a document giving me permission to handle Nancy's medical life. Nancy's medical life? Yeah. What's going on? Oh, she's in very, very, very bad shape, George. Her hair's fallen out. She barely weighs 80 pounds. Her body's feeding on her own muscles. Well, I'll file the papers. It could take at least a month to get a hearing. A month? Well, could you tell him it's an emergency? I think in a month she'll be dead. Yeah, of course I can. Hi. Right. Thought I'd drop by and say hi. You need some help? What are you thinking? I was thinking about a dream I had. Remember when I was a little girl? And I used to love to paint and draw. And I'd sit up in my room with that paint set that you and Mom gave me. You killed a lot of hours with that paint set. In my dream, I had this brush. And I was swirling it around in a glass of water and, and just making the most beautiful colors. And I felt so happy, just like I used to. And then I woke up. And all those feelings just disappeared. Where did they go, Dad? And why can't I get them back? You will. I know you will. I know how bad things are for you right now. How you hurt. Mm -hmm. How scared you must be. The wings they gave me today got my pilot's license. That was one of the happiest days of my life. These wings have brought me a lot of good fortune. And I want you to have them. Excellent. Just this. throw them in there, right? Get some over there, too, right? In a minute. Your mother and I have something to say to you. What's up? Your sister's a lot sicker than anybody ever thought. She's in no shape to be making serious decisions. Uh, I don't understand the decisions. But... Serious decisions. Decisions concerning her health, doctors, 
hospitals, what's best for her medically. What are you saying, she's nuts? No, 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 absolutely not. Well, yeah. <laughs> In the area of her health, she is, so we're gonna ask the judge to let Daddy make those decisions for her. Well, that sounds good to me. What'd you say when you told her? Well, we haven't told her yet. That's next. <sighs> good luck. You're supposed to be my therapist, not theirs. He is your therapist. Dad, just get away from me. I don't even want to talk your to you Your mother has done this. nothing wrong. I have done nothing wrong. We know you're sick, your heart, your liver, they're Dad, damaged. I can do this on my own. You cannot do it on your I own. Can't. All you do on your own is lie to us. Oh, you cannot do this, Dad. I am over 18. I am legally of age. Nancy, we know that. We know that. And in a court of law, you have the opportunity of explaining that to the judge. I am not explaining anything to anyone. Do you hear me? Oh, oh great shot. Uh, there we go. Hi, Nancy. This is Lenore Malay. She's your lawyer. My lawyer? Who hired her? The court appointed me. Who pays? Your family. Well, uh, I'll be downstairs if you need me. Do you understand why your parents are taking you to court? Yeah. Because they want to put me back into that hospital. And why do you want to fight them on this? There's no way that I am going back there. OK. Do you feel that you're strong enough to put yourself through the hearing? If I can win? Yeah. I'm strong enough. Okay. Then I'll do everything I can to help you. I just want to know if you're okay. I'm okay.
Gilbert's cut down those elms. You see that? Nancy? It's a shame. They were beautiful. I think they had that disease. Dutch elm. There's no way I'm going to give up getting this guardianship. I'm not going to stand by and let you die. the testimony you are about to give is the truth, the whole truth, and nothing but the truth, so help you God? Yes, I do. State your name. My name is Thomas Walsh, Sr. You may take the stand. You are the plaintiff or petitioner in this case, are you not? Yes, George. And you are the father of Nancy Walsh, isn't that correct? That's correct. Now, I show you a verified complaint that was filed on July 13th. Are you familiar with that complaint? Yes, I am. And did you sign that verified complaint and consent to its application? Yes, I did. Were the allegations of that verified complaint true as of the date you signed that complaint? Yes, they were. You understand that your application is to be appointed special medical guardian for your daughter, Nancy Walsh. I understand that. And that your appointment will be until further order of the court. You understand that? Mr. Walsh, do you understand that? I understand that. And that it will be your obligation and your responsibility to make decisions in the best interest of your daughter. Do you understand that? Step down, Mr. Walsh. Your Honor, after speaking with my client just now, as her court-appointed attorney, we would raise no objection and would submit to the application of the court to the appointment of her father as her special medical guardian. Now, this guardianship will be for the purpose of making medical decisions concerning her health and welfare only.
Miss Walsh, are you prepared to acknowledge that you have a problem? Yes, I am. Is there any question I can answer for you? No. Then thank you, Miss Walsh. There is one thing I want to say. The fact that this court finds that Nancy Walsh is in need of a medical guardian, that she is unable to consent to medical treatment, does not mean that she is an incompetent person, as a layman might consider that term. It doesn't mean that she is crazy. It doesn't mean that she can't make other normal decisions we all make. I emphasize this so that no one misunderstands these proceedings. With that said, and I hope clear to you, I say thank you and good luck to you all. I think that was, that was the start of my recovery. But believe me, it was just a start. I had a long way to go after that. See, that's the weird thing about recovery. I've learned that, that I may never be completely cured, that this disease doesn't always go away. It's kind of lurking around like my Achilles heel.